Hello, everybody. Welcome to the beautiful Canadian Penticton, mm -hmm. British Columbia landscape. Snowy. Went from Thailand plus 30 degrees Celsius to here minus 10 degrees Celsius. So that was fun. So today I want to say the difference between entitlement and deserving. And what's true in life is that we're all deserving and worthy of the best. We are like divine beings in living in physical form in the third density of time-space reality or time-space perception, the rules of the game. But we're all deserving and most of us don't know how to practice self-love and self-deserving and self-worthiness by saying yes to what's good for us and saying no and kicking out people, places, things, habits, actions, words, etc that aren't, aren't good for us. So for me in my life for sure, like one thing that I've learned the most in the last few years has been how to practice self-love better and by saying no and kicking out stuff and leaving situations, people and places that doesn't serve me and doesn't make me joyful and happy in my heart and peaceful and lovey vibes. So the difference between entitlement, feeling entitled to stuff and deserving, one, uh, it's, one person says it's the shadow, entitlement is the shadow side of deserving. So basically speaking, entitlement, deserving is like your the divine truth. You know that, and it's true. But feeling entitled is more like the immature, like immature version of holy knowing you're deserving. Entitlement is more the ego version, more like the cocky, arrogant, prideful version. Like, I'm entitled to this, I deserve this. And then you should give me this. And it's, it comes with a lot of like hurt and pain in the person who doesn't feel like they're getting what they deserve. And, you know, there's conflict there. So it's easy to know, guys, based on your emotions, how you feel. If you feel good or if you feel bad. So in my life, for sure, what I've been doing for many years is looking whenever I feel upset or emotionally distraught. And using my these emotions to like look at, to be aware of why we're feeling sad, angry, fearful, guilty, resentful, anxious. So if you ever have what some people call a negative emotion, and they're not negative or bad in any way, they're just like guidance systems, they're messengers. Emotions are messengers. Emotion, energy in motion. So emotions are energy in motion that are here to teach us and to guide us something, to tell us a message that something about ourselves in our life for example if someone stands in my toe and I feel angry or they keep doing it then it's a message to tell them it's a message for me to put up a boundary or to protect myself and to teach somebody not to be doing that or else for me to leave the situation and like I said earlier to kick that out of my life and to practice self-love better because we deserve better so you're practicing self-worth and self-deserving and self-love so um yeah, that's what I really want to say, guys. So anyway, it's a, it's like the, it's my birthday today, actually. Yeah, January the seventh, two thousand seventeen. So everyone, I wish you all a lovely day. Happy birthday to you in your life, whenever your birthday is. And uh, thanks for joining me in this video. I'm going to go to the market now, so cutting it a little bit short. But I hope this video served you in some way, and I hope you've enjoyed the energy of the video. And I care, and I wish you all the best. Keep learning and growing, and you're never alone. Seek help if you need it, online or in person. There's always helpers, people who care. You are what's called the light worker. We all are. There's nobody extra special or fancy, but some people are just more participating in their calling and their talent and their their passion, really, their interest. See you, everyone. Lots of love. Have a nice day. Take care. Enjoy the weather and get out there. Get out, get out and get some nature, everybody. Move your body. And then um, finally, stay healthy and lots of love. Bye. Till next time.